just set up fresh there's the site matt's sleeping in his tent yep brand new tent i'm i'm in the truck <laughs> yeah nice nice day bloody warm yep quiet site champs field in colton near tadcaster yorkshire yorkshire see what we're in for In the, the heart of Tadcaster. Yep. John Smith. That's our church. Yo. Hello. First location. First location. On our battlefield tour. So. We're in the middle of a forest. <laughs> the smallest beck ever. We're in Fulford. Fulford, just outside York. Yep. Battle of Fulford. Yep. What was it? 20th September. Yep. 1066. 1066. Just before Stamford Bridge. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, hard rider. Yep. Um, came over. He camped at a village south of Fulford. Yeah. And then this was the first one. Battle of Fulford. The first campaign. And um, so the Earls of the North, was it? Yes. The Earl of Northumberland. Earl of Northumberland and them lot decided to meet him here. Yeah. At the Beck. Now this was before Stamford Bridge, so. Harold Godwinson hadn't arrived yet and his brother Tostig got exiled and he formed an alliance with Hardrada. Yeah. And they had the, the battle here? Yeah. But what happened, there was a big legal thing. A guy called Chas Jones, archaeologist, historian, tried to preserve the site with English heritage and then they lost the case and there's housing development it's now. It's just a big at, housing at the estate. Germany Beck, so we could be walking through the site, but we'll never know. But yeah. it was in this vicinity. It was on they crossed this little river. Yeah. It's pretty small now, like, but uh, yeah, it's it, sh it shrunk <laughs> since then. <laughs> <laughs> this was um they crossed this at this vicinity somewhere. Mm. But people forget about this battle. Like there was three in ten sixty six, this was the first one. The very first one. Yep. Start the beginning. We're here. Site number two, Stamford Bridge. Let's go and have a look. We've got the perfect soundtrack there. Right, somewhere over over these bushes in them fields is where the Battle of Stamford Bridge took place. Yep. So over there we've just saw that's where they sliced each other to bits. <laughs> Brutal. So Yeah, another another ten sixty six battle, twenty fifth of September. Twenty fifth. Harold Herdrada. Yep, again. And Harold Godwinson, King of England, he was down south, waiting for the Normans to come. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, the Vikings are back. Some more trouble. Yep. So he had to leave London, and it took him, what, was it three days to march up to here at Stamford Bridge to meet Hardrada yeah. and Tostig. Yeah, Tostig was his brother, wasn't he? Yeah, he got exiled and defected to the Vikings. Ah, um, Hardrada's mate now. Yeah, and they, they both got slain in battle. And then that was it after that. The Vikings never tried again. No, had and enough. Then, and then it was all the way back down south for, um, for Hastings. Big, and, big William. Yeah, we all know the outcome of that one, but you've got to give them credit there. Yeah. They stormed it up from London all the way up to here and def defeated the Vikings. 
brutal. And he never came back again then. That's it. Told him told him what to do. Fuck off. Chicken wrap, coffee, sort me out. Yeah. Just had my cherry very well. <coughs> and a samosa, what a combination. Happy days. All the pubs closed round here. I don't think the big drinkers in Yorkshire. No, either. yesterday pub near the campsite closed. Don't seem to be any pubs here in um, Stamford yeah. Bridge. What a open anyway. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Went into Fulford. There was nothing. Just one one pub that was open, but not much. It's, no. um, it's a bit quiet round here. Viking Road. Going over the bridge now. Or Stamford Bridge. Six off the list. This isn't the original one, obviously. Lord knows where that is. Yeah. Uh. Battle of Towton. Yep. This is the next one, and this is the biggest site we're going to be visiting. 1461. That's the one. So, right here, the first point. Um, was where the battle lines took place. Yep, the formations and the archers opened yeah. fire. 250 metres, so right where we're standing, Edward IV and the Yorkists stood. Yep. 250 metres away, the Lancastrians, probably on that ridge, isn't it? Yeah, on a snowy day in a blizzard. And... The wind was going in the Yorkist favour. So 50,000... They fired their arrows. 48,000. They hit the Lancastrians. They tried to retaliate, but because of the wind blowing against them, that the arrows fell short. Fell short. Yeah. Well, there's the first site where, they, where yeah. they came. Number one, and we've got ten more to go. Okay, so next checkpoint, two yep. and three. Edward the Fourth, and then with the six to the houses of York and Lancaster. Yeah, a lot of people think that it was like the two counties going on it, but technically it was north and south. So the Yorkists were kind of like south, Lancastrians were the north. Mm. And they were just fighting for the um, yep. the throne. Fighting for the for the throne overall. So. We're here. Yep, we're there. We're going to go around. And we're going to walk all the way around. And I think the next stop is Bloody Meadow. Yeah, that's the uh, the craziest bit. That's where a lot went down. Okay, next one. The battle reaches its climax. Yep, so when the Yorkist reinforcements arrived, that was it. All Over the there. started to flee. There was a big rout, and they tried to cross the Cockbeck River, which is just which should be in this should, valley should be, down here. Down here, behind and these uh, trees. Yeah, they just began to flee. They were getting cut down. I think that's where most of the casualties happened. And there was a big bridge of bodies, and that's where the name comes from, Bloody Meadow. Yeah. Chaos. Carnage. Some stuff that's been found on the battle site. Lead yeah. shot. So I think this battle was like large handgun. The first evidence of early firearms weapons. That's what you need. There's a um, pendant, three lions on it. Don't know if you can see. So a lot of weapons used. Yeah, tons of them. Swords. Pole axe. Pole axe. Ah, that's fucking Hammers. class on that. Crossbows, longbows. Yep. The whole deal. Full armoury, as you can see. That was a skull that was found. That's the damage it caused. 
they, they think it's um, as you can see it's square from the square end of the, okay. the hammer the hammer yeah so the Lancastrians fled towards Towton there's the meadow yep so in that direction some of them did all across well. this meadow fleeing that way yeah and some of them went hiding in Tadcaster and were hunted down later <laughs> so Matt's research yep bloodiest battle of all time on English soil. What does that tell you? What happened here? Brutal. No friend. So the, the, the beck, the river flows down here and they say um, the bridge of bodies, all the dead Lancastrians. Yep, yeah, it just filled the stream. Allowing them allowing the others to cross. Others to cross and flee. Flee into Tadcaster. Yep. And then Henry Buggered off to Scotland, I think. <laughs> he, he, he was he was long gone. He abandoned his army. See you later, pal. Reached um, board number ten. Yep, Towton Battlefield Walk completed it, mate. So there's Towton. They found a mass grave. Yep, nineteen ninety six. Actually, found a few graves, didn't they? Yeah, there was a big mass grave. Thirty eight individuals. Yeah, just and they, stacked them in. Yeah, they just started. Looking at all the injuries on them and everything. Analyzing them. All yeah. died in battle. From the looks of it, that's what they found. But there was a like a mass hatred between the two sides, like regional. Yeah, yeah. York and Lancaster. Old firm derby. <laughs> Back to the start. Completed it. Back to the start. <sighs> Took us about an hour and a half. Yep. And there's the tree in the distance. Where the, the Where Yorkists... The main Yorkist force was, yeah. yeah. That was that ridge at the start. In the Rockingham Arms. A couple of beers. Well, we're in Tadcaster, so it'd be rude not to. Next site, Next fast place. forward a bit. Yep. 1644, Battle of Marston Moor. That rhymed. Civil War. English Civil War, yeah. Cromwell. He was the real punk, the true punk. Cromwell. Yeah, and his iron sides. Yeah, the Battle of Marston Moor. So the Royalists was over there where their army stood. All along here. All along there. And if we turn and look that way. Cromwell's. On the hillside was the Allied forces, parliamentarians. On the hill. Cromwell's there. They charged down the hill. Come down the hill. Big battle. All here. And apparently a lot of mass graves. The battle dead. They're still here somewhere. Yeah, of the, um, the Royalists. Cromwell fucked them. And and the battle went on till like midnight, didn't it? Yeah, seven seven thirty in the evening. There was, and then finished about midnight. But how did they see? Fighting in the dark. That's metal. That. So this is the memorial for the Cromwell Society, and uh, I think it was unveiled in nineteen thirty nine, was it? Yeah. yeah. There's the ridge. Yep. Thomas Fairfax was over that way. Over here. And Cromwell. Cromwell was positioned over there. On that side. But it looks like maybe he was over over the ridge. Yeah. I think. So they were like hidden for a surprise attack. Charge down into the field over there that you're seeing. Master Moore. Ticked off the list. We've just been to Marston Moor Battlefield. Mm -hmm. 
spotted a church, so we thought we'd have a look, see if there's any any information here. Any information if anyone's buried here from the site. And we've come into the church. There's only us here. It's it's quite cool. It is. It's very cool. And there's your information board inside the church, Long Marston. Maps of the battle, his view of the battle, and the bloody lane. Quick day trip to York, see what's there. To hell with it. Base left. York Minster, Tosti. <laughs> His brother. <laughs> Exiled. Yeah. Justin Galvinson, he's buried in there. The old star in. 1644. Yep, goes all the way back to the same year as Marston. It's an old gas. Yeah. Bit of Timmy Taylor's. And an abbot. Yeah, our Dutch friends getting uh, some some real British food. <laughs> <laughs> right, what's the name to have? Go on, Steve. What is it? Whit Whitma Watmergate. Whitma Watmergate. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. But and, and this is the shortest road in England. Or in Britain. Or it's yeah. One of the shortest roads. And it just goes there. From like. From like here to here <laughs> to there, <laughs> the shortest road in England. There we go. Fifteenth century church. Oh, today's a mystery guest turned up yeah. out of nowhere. Good old Conroy. The man himself. The um, what, the the philosophical. The grappling scholar. The, gr the grappling scholar. Put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> in England oh, last night got the perfect pose <laughs> full of laughs last oh. night on camp oh fucking hell <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> of Wakefield. 
1460. War of the Roses. Back to the War of the Roses. And this was a year before Towson. Come and have a look at this castle ruins. Top, top bit. There's the castle bit. The moat. I think that's Bellevue in the distance. Wakefield Trinity. Rugby League. So there was the outer moat. Went all the way around it, and then also an inner moat, two moats. That was like going around here. I don't know how they um, got through. Uh, they have the way. Just walking down here. Walking the moat. Walking the moat. And this is the site where. Richard, Duke of York, was killed in battle. Lost his head? Yep. Lanc Poor bastard. Lancastrian victory? Yep. They won that one, and then the Yorkists got their own back the following year at Towton. That's how you know when you're nearly home. Pissing it down. <laughs>